Hey there guys and welcome back to another video and already you can already see who I'm going to be critiquing for this video and I understand some people are going to be both pissed at me and probably enjoy this video because I will be talking about Visratonic TSF and I know a lot of people are going to be like oh are you going to be ranting on her? Well, not really. It's already outdated on what she has done in the past, and I don't want to bring up old stuff that's already been talked about. And already people talk about stuff like, oh, she got angry at me because I drew her fan art and she did blah, blah, blah. And I understand she has really weird rule rules when it comes to asking for people to ask for permission to draw her characters. Do I agree with that? No, but it's her contest. She wants to do that. So I'm not going to really argue with that. There's some things that I don't agree with with what she does, but it's what she wants to do, and I'm not going to argue with that. So yeah, so already we're going to look at the front page of her DA, and we see Freedom Comes comes elegance i think i'm saying that right she does post her other her art on google plus tumblr twitter youtube and demure art accounts she does not do art trades take requests do collaboration or use spaces for commissions which in the past is kind of not true but likewise we are not bringing up the past she does allow gifts or fan art but please ask the permission and i understand why because she does not want Basically, something she doesn't want to see. Like I mentioned, I understand that completely. I just don't agree with that. So, yeah, let's get into her gallery. Like I mentioned, I'm not going to go all the way into the past where she has traced over things. Like I said, that's in the past. I'm not going to be talking about that. The first thing I want to mention is how certain things are pretty dark and, in the sense, edgy. Like, certain characters are so dark that they kind of blend in with the line art. And there's certain characters, too, that just, their color schemes don't match. Like, when you look at Glowstick, her base color does not work very well with her mane. And there's certain things like, like, what is this side part? Like, I don't understand what it is. But, hey, I'm just doing a critique. She may not like this video, but I'm not going... If she wants me to take it down by asking politely, I will probably take it down or put it in listed. But it all depends. And how, please keep in mind, I'm still alive. It's really dark. You can barely see it except for what you can obviously see, which is all the light parts like the eye whites, the actual eye, and the, in the sense the muzzle and just the watermark. Nothing that I have wrong with watermarks, that is basically bullshit with whenever people say something like that, but still. And some of her characters actually look like her main. Like, it just, certain things just don't make sense. And she has it where it's, like, she has all these stuff, like, rules for commission buyers. It's all on top, which I understand you don't want people to trace over. But people are still going to try and trace over it. It's not even worth the time. And like I mentioned, this character in general, I don't really know his name. But he has way too many black stuff on him. It's best to tone it down on the black. Recolor him a bit. Maybe make things a lighter gray. Not just a dark gray or almost completely black. It doesn't really work. It works at times, but not this much. Like, it's way over the top. But like her character, there's a lot of white, and there's black, and you got some color, which is the purple, which sort of works. It still works, but it's very bland. There's not much to it. And we digress. Some of her My Little Pony stuff very much look like the actual art of the My Little Pony, like just the actual show, and I'm not claiming that she traces or anything, like I mentioned, but it's very similar, it's no uniqueness to it, it's just like an actual, when you think about it, an actual base, if you took everything off of it and basically claim it as a base, it's basically that. 
The shading could use some work, but from what she actually uses from shading, especially when you see Be the Bunny, the shading is not very good. There's basically no light source. It's either coming from one side or it's coming from above, which doesn't really seem like it. So it's very hard to tell where the light source is. And some characters like Circus the Hedgehog, it's just a little over the top. Or especially when you have something like it's all it's all just a game, there's too much blood that you need to censor it. And she has stated that she doesn't censor her stuff, especially when there's kids. And now we come into where there's too much emo stuff, where it's just over the top darkness. And yeah. So we move on. And she does a style update. Nothing bad. It's it's a lot better than what she said the original is. So I say that's pretty good. She has updated her anatomy. I say that's good. It's always good to get better with your anatomy. Oh, holy shit. Okay, I have to talk this. This is going to be more of a... This is going to be a heavy critique. Well, yeah, she does say this is a base. That's good that she credits it's very good everything about it is too pop the obvious neon green the ne some of the neon colors are just way too much the green and the tannish does not work well together at least to my eyes it hurts it's just like the youtube logo it's way too popish it's like if you went on the color wheel and you just went to the very top on the right hand side that's what it would be it's way too much and especially when you have the pink and the maroon with it it doesn't work like if you switch the colors and you made the green a little like more downwards or more fitting with her style more of a darkest green or an emerald or a forest green it would work a little bit better it still wouldn't work with how pop the hair or in the sense hair since it is a hedgehog is if you got rid of all the fancy colors you kept the you made the green a darker green this is especially with the eye works and you change the muzzle and the underbelly and all that it would work especially when you have this cute of a design it probably would work but not with all these popping colors it doesn't work that way i'm sorry but it's the truth and as we digress there's some things that she has gotten better with using other colors some things still don't work like obviously this kind of doesn't work but i'm taking a guess and saying it's a commission she still has a sort of style when it comes to her art. Like, obviously, this My Little Pony, Prince Excalibur. He, it looks different than what an actual base would look like. Like, shiny, shiny Drop. Two completely different in a sense. And as we look forward, this does look like a base. I'm not claiming it as a base, but it looks like one. And we go a little bit further down. She's still, she's working on a little bit more of a human look. I say that's pretty good. You still got a lot of dark colors. You probably have, would have to tilt the screen just to see all the colors. It's too dark when you think about it. Or especially this one. This does look like an actual base. But I'm going to take a guess and say she puts her, she said her source, which I would say that's a good, unless she did not. And the, I can't really say much else before I go too far and we talk about all the gory stuff that she does not censor. But yeah, I think I'll just end it here. And I understand if Viz does not want me to, if she wants me to take this down, I will gladly do it. But I'm just telling the truth. I'm just giving my two cents in what she could do better. But yeah, I'll leave this here, guys. If you want a viewer, get below. I'll take a look and do my best. But yeah, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.